Polar is a data frame library for Python that is faster than Pandas. And just like Pandas, we can use Polars to easily scrape websites. We can read any CSV file published on a website and even extract tables within HTML pages. However, currently there isn't a read HTML function in Polars as we do have in Pandas. But I'll show you a workaround to turn tables from HTML pages into Polars data frames. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to extract CSV files files that are published on a website. For example, in this website we have many CSV files that you can download, but instead of downloading each file that you see here, you can simply read the links of these files. And well, you can do this with Polars. So we go here to Jupyter Notebooks and we have to import Polars as PL. And in case you don't have Polars installed, you only have to write uh, pip install Polars to install this library. So once you have Polars installed, you only need to import it and then you can use the function read CSV as you will do with pandas. So I write pl that read underscore CSV and then we have to write the link of this CSV file. So what we have to do is go to the website and here we have multiple CSV files but we're going to test it with one CSV file. So the first one which is Premier League uh, season 22-23. So here if I right click and then click on copy link address, I'm going to get a link that downloads this CSV file. So if I paste it here, we get the link. So now I have to add the quotes and with this, we're going to get the CSV file automatically. So here I'm going to name this file as DF, sorry, this data frame as DF, and then I'm going to print this, uh, this data frame. So now I run this and we have this data frame and this is a polar data frame. So we see here the shape and well, we see that there is no indexes in this data frame. And as you can see, we easily extracted the data from this website without having to download and then reading the file, but only using the read CSV function. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to extract tables from HTML pages. For example, here I'm in Wikipedia and I want to extract all the tables that we have here in this page. So we have here the episodes of The Simpsons and we want to track that tables. So if we try to use the read HTML function in Polars, we're going to get this. It says Polars has no attribute read HTML. So currently there is no read underscore HTML function in Polars as we have on Pandas. But there is a workaround that you can use to turn tables from HTML pages into Polars data frames. And to do this, first you have to install these three libraries pandas, lxml, and pyarrow. And what we're going to do is use pandas and lxml to extract the tables from the HTML pages and then use pyarrow to convert the pandas data frame into a polars data frame. So first we have to import pandas. And well, we have to write import pandas as pd and then we have to use pd that read underscore html. Now we have to paste the link of the website. Here we have the website. We only have to copy and paste it. So in this case, well, this is Wikipedia. I copy the link, I paste the link, and now I'm going to write here uh, pandas underscore df. So this is my pandas data frame. Now I run this and I should have the table from uh, or the tables from Wikipedia. So now we have a list. This is a list with many elements and each table that is here in this website is in this list. So if I randomly choose element four, we're going to get this. Probably this is the fifth table in the Wikipedia page. But anyway, once we have the tables extracted, we have to convert this pandas data frames into polars data frames. And to easily show you how to do this, I'm going to convert one pandas data frame into one polars data frame. And then I'm going to show you how to do this with all the data frames that we have in this list. But first, I'm going to change the name of this element. Instead of pandas df, I'm going to name it my list. And then what I'm going to do is use this my list and choose any random element here. So I'm going to run these two blocks. And well, we have the element number four. So this element number four is going to be polars or sorry, pandas underscore df. So I have one single data frame and it's called pandas underscore df. And now I'm going to turn this pandas data frame into a polars data frame. So to do this, I have to write pl that stands for polars and then use the from pandas function. So I write from underscore pandas and then we have to write that 
name of the pandas data frame in this case pandas underscore df and i'm going to name all of these as pullers underscore df so basically what we're doing is using the from pandas function to turn this pandas data frame into a polar data frame so i run this and now i'm going to show you here the polar data frame so as you can see we have this data frame and it's a polar data frame and it has the same same data that we have in the pandas data frame and now i want to show you how to convert all the pandas data frames that we have in the list into polar data frames but before we continue with this video i want to show you a tool that you can use to work with the data that we extracted this tool is quadratic who is the sponsor of this video quadratic is a tool that combines the familiarity of a spreadsheet and the power of code Quadratic is a spreadsheet where you can write Python code, SQL queries, and Excel formulas. And you can even use third-party Python libraries directly into your spreadsheet. Quadratic provides a great visual way to learn and work with data. It allows you to write code and see the output in full detail, like with Jupyter Notebooks. However, unlike other spreadsheets, Quadratic extends forever in every direction. You can pinch and zoom, navigate your data the way you want, and drag and drop your data in any cell. To try everything Quadratic has to offer for free, visit quadratichq.com or click on the link in the description of this video. Okay, first we have the list of pandas data frames that I named my underscore list. And well, this is a list with, I think, five elements. And now I'm going to convert all the elements into this list into Polar's data frames. So what I'm going to do is simply write for pandas underscore data frame and then in my underscore list. So this is the list that contains all the pandas data frames. And then I can simply uh, write PL, then use from pandas as we did before, and then write the name of the pandas data frame, in this case, pandas underscore DF. And with this, we convert each element into a polar data frame. And now we can create an empty list and append each element as we did before, or we can use list comprehension. And I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use list comprehension and I'm going to uh, put this here and then add the square brackets and then write my new list. So my new list represents the list with the polar data frames. So here, if I run this, now we can see that my new list has only polar data frames. So here, if I choose element, uh, the first element, element zero, we see this table. And well, we can get also the second element, the third, the fourth, and the fifth element. So here, the last is this uh, index four, and we see that we get the last element. And with this, we verify that we converted all the pandas data frames in the list we had into polar data frames. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have another workaround to scrape HTML pages with polars, and I'll see you on the next video.